Hi again. Today I'm going to show you how uh, just a real quick way of lightening up a face without it looking like you lightened it up. Um, it's a it's a real gradual method using using the brush tool, and uh, I'm just going to do a tiny bit of uh, retouching using only the patch tool. <laughs> Okay, first thing I'm going to do is use the patch tool just to get get these little boo-boos out of here. Let me get my pen here. Uh, this is real easy in its simplest form just to get rid of little blemishes and stuff. But you want to start with a clean base. You don't want to be doing this after your edit. Uh, this is always my first first step So I'm just gonna go ahead and And the mode I'm using is source uh, normal patch normal uh, it's a pretty simple tool and that's just right over here I'm gonna zoom out here okay problem we're having it's not a huge one I'm just gonna create a second layer here and grab your brush tool white and put your opacity at around 15 between 10 and 15 will work and in this case I'm going to start the eyes I normally if the eyes aren't darker I normally start at like right around here if the eyes are dark too I like to uh, just start there and then uh, instead of just one evolving circle I start with two and then end up with one and you'll see what I mean here in this case, I'm going to start at the eyes. Just give them a click. Two brush sizes up, another click. Two brush sizes up, another click. And then I'm going to focus on some other areas that are just too dark for my taste. And that's it there. I'm going to, then I'm going to start right here. Three sizes up, click, three sizes up, three sizes up, and I'm going to get a little of the hair in this one, three sizes up, and the last one. What we're doing is building the opacity of the white, and it creates a nice gradient fade from the center to the edges. So instead of getting your brush tool, using it at 100%, and making your brush, let me get that again, making your brush this big and just hitting once, which I'll show you here what that looks like, 100%. Uh, your end result would look something like this. And my problem with that is this area around here, let's zoom out you can see that it's just a big white circle so uh, we're not gonna do it like that we're gonna do it like this like how we just did then you're going to select the layer blending mode soft light and pretty much you're just gonna blend it to taste that's on that's completely off and I'm probably gonna end up around 52% and anytime I'm doing an edit of any kind, I zoom way out until it pretty much looks like a thumbnail. And it gives your eyes a little break and you adjust and you see the image as a whole instead of, in my case, a 28 inch monitor here. Just this huge thing two feet away from my face. And basically I'm focusing on only a certain area. When you zoom out, 
you look at it and you say, oh yeah, 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 that's that's uh, too dark or that's too bright. Colors off, you know, her skin's orange or green. <laughs> but that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of this background and combine those two. Now that's that's basically what I was going for. It's still a little darker than I would like it to be. But another step you can do before I brighten this up a little more uh, is go ahead and create another layer. Grab your brush tool again. Select black. 15% opacity. And I'm just going to go around the edge and make a, a nice vignette with a big brush first. And then a smaller brush. And I don't want to darken this area too much because the sun, that's actually the sun's right up in here. It's coming right up around here. And I think I'm going to go a little bit darker than that. Once you hit the soft light mode, it, it's, uh, it's a lot less extreme. So you can go pretty dark around the edges with a vignette as long as there's that nice fade and you didn't just glob the color on there. So there's, there's a nice transition there. Now I'm going to hit soft light. And that's what we got there. I'm only going to back off that a tiny bit. Maybe, yeah, there we go, 83%. So that's what that looks like. Gonna combine those. And I'm just gonna go up here and do the simplest thing in the world, which is increase the brightness by 17%, 17. It seems to be about right. Yep, okay. That looks good. Okay. Now, here's the before. Here's the after. Before, after. I hope you enjoyed this. Keep creating and keep it awesome.